Good evening, and welcome to the March 25th, uh, 2020 emergency call meeting of the Muskogee City Council. Would you please stand for the invocation by Council Member Marlon Coleman, followed by the flag salute. Let us pray. Lord, now more than ever, we depend on your wisdom, your grace, and your mercy to help us, O oh God, through this time of crisis. Lord, we realize that we should be proactive, but Lord, that everything in terms of the outcome of this virus is in your hands. We pray, O oh God, for your immediate wisdom for all of us as municipalities and county officials, God, that as we move forward, regardless of what the state or nation says, God, that we do it under the power of your Holy Spirit, for Lord, where you lead us, there can be no failure, but there can only be blessings. I pray your blessing upon us as we go forward as a city, state, and nation, and world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic from which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mayor Janie Boydston. Here. Evelyn Hibbs. Here. Stephanie Morgan. Here. Marlon Coleman. Here. Ivory Van. Here. Derek Reed. Here. Alex Reynolds. Here. Jamie Stout. Here. Deputy Mayor Wayne Johnson. Does the count, do the county commissioners want to yeah, uh, have their roll call right now? Just yeah, we need to come in session if it's okay. Okay, go uh, right ahead. Uh, good afternoon, welcome to March 25th emergency meeting of the Board of County Commissioners. I need a motion to come into session. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. We are in session and I assume we're going to move to agenda item number two. I would let the county go to their agenda item number one before we both go in. Agenda item number two together. Okay. I think they, they have an initial agenda item to address. Okay. That's okay. City. We will do the city uh, item one. Receive report on the COVID-19 pandemic in Muskogee or take other necessary action. Mr. Miller. Thank you, Mayor, uh, members of council, county commissioners. It's my honor to be here. And I know you have very important business, so we do want to provide that an update, but make it brief because we know the real uh, important reason and business that you have to conduct. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about is uh, to the city council, we have implemented uh, the order that you put in place on Monday night. I wanted to give you an update on that regarding businesses, uh, the dining areas that were closed, uh, and the closure of, of uh, bars in, in, the, in the city. Um, police and code enforcement went out on Tuesday after we uh, put that uh, order into place Monday night, giving a 24-hour notice. They went out and visited and talked to and called as many different establishments as they could so they could come into compliance. Um, and we have had uh, really had not had to issue any citations for businesses not being in compliance. Our community is, is doing well as far as following this, uh, this order that the council's put in place. Uh, as far as those closures go, that's gone well in our community. If there's exceptions, so be certain to let you know, myself uh, or uh, my office know, uh, and the police will, will gently remind folks about the, the existence of this order. I wanted to update you on that. Um, I wanted to let you know we have made a, a, a change uh, pending the anticipated passage of, uh, of the resolution that you have before you later today. Um, we do not want to encourage people to be outside their homes unless it's absolutely necessary at this point. So our, our uh, dump days that we had scheduled, we're going to, to curtail those. Um, the limb site and the material yard um, opportunities that we presented to the public over the next couple of days, usually in association with our sp spring cleanup, those uh, have been, uh, will be postponed. Uh, we don't want to encourage people to get out, even though it is a good time of year to do your spring cleaning. We're not, uh, we're going to look for alternative ways to try and assist in, in those measures. Um, lastly, uh, St. Francis is, is uh, doing uh, what they've talked about on Monday night and gearing up and our police department's providing 24 hour support for them as they look to be ready um, in case uh, they're, they're needed uh, to do more than they are currently in uh, this pandemic. I want to turn it over to our emergency manager, Tyler Evans, for a brief update from him as well. Ms. Mayor, council members, members of county, uh, the latest update I have from the Oklahoma State Department of Health 
is 164 positive cases in the state of Oklahoma, 805 negative cases in the state, but that does not include the private testing labs that they've been using, uh, sending out tests to. Uh, this is only for uh, the state of Oklahoma or county health department testing, state department of health testing. Uh, we have 59 people hospitalized and five deaths in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, our current count from Muskogee County is four people uh, that has confirmed cases, which is up from our previous count of one. That's currently not reflected on uh, the State Department's website. They're currently just updating that once a day, usually in the mornings, but I have confirmed this with our county health department that our numbers have went up to four. Uh, the state is looking at updating that uh, their data twice a day now instead of just once, so we hope to get a, another update at the, <coughs> before the close of business so we can have a better track of uh, the spread and what's happening uh, with the state. Okay. Um, do you need to do anything before we go into item two? Um, <clears throat> no, if okay. you want to go into item two and then we will also. Okay. Item two, please. Discuss recommendations from the Joint City County Task Force on COVID-19 and if appropriate, consider approval of Joint Resolution Number 2803 of the City of Muskogee and the Board of County Commissioners of Muskogee County directing residents of the city and county to stay at home unless performing essential activities as defined, directing all businesses to establish mitigation plans and procedures to protect against the spread of COVID-19, adopting provisions contained in the Governor's Executive Order issued March 24, 2020, or take other necessary action. Mr. Tucker. Absolutely. Oh, okay, we're oh. going to move to agenda item number oh. two also. Uh, okay. Discussion and or possible action regarding a resolution from the Joint Task Force with regards to the current COVID-19 emergency. So, okay. Now thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Mr. Chairman of the Board of County Commissioners. Uh, let me first welcome you, uh, our members from the county uh, to City Hall. Uh, we appreciate you coming here today, and uh, we're very happy that we were able to work together on this uh, very important issue. So uh, as you all know, at the council meeting on Monday night and the uh, Board of County Commissioners meeting on Tuesday, uh, a joint task force was created uh, to come up with further recommendations in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. The task force consisted of myself, uh, Orville Loge, uh, County Assessor Ron Dean, County EM Director Jeff Smith, City EM Director Tyler Evans, City Manager Miller, Councilors Coleman, Reynolds, and Stout, Mayor Boydston, and District Commissioner Payne, District 3 Commissioner Payne. Now the task force has met twice to consider those recommendations, and it was during the middle of our very first meeting that the uh, governor issued his executive order. Uh, and that verbal executive order was mandating closure of non-essential businesses. Now, once that order was reduced to writing in the form of his fourth amended executive order 202007 and his executive memorandum uh, 202001, which was later amended uh, about two hours ago, it became necessary to modify our original considerations to incorporate the distinction between essential and non-essential businesses. Our second meeting occurred this morning to finalize those recommendations into the resolution that you have before you. Uh, it incorporates those resolutions, for, excuse me, those recommendations from the Joint Task Force. We were very cognizant that as public officials elected to represent your, our community, that you have an incredible responsibility. Citizens look to you as leaders in times of crisis, and the statement of intent which is included in the resolution is intended to embody that sentiment. From the statements made at the state level to our Muskogee County Health Department, it's clear that there are an, an adequate number of testing kits in Muskogee County. So what does that mean? That means that the actual number of COVID-19 cases in our community is unknown. So we must assume that there are more cases than are being reported. And because of that, this resolution, which you're being asked to consider, proposes a mitigation plan. The hope there is that more restricted procedures and orders won't be needed. However, we all know facts and recommendations from our public health community are ever-changing. So we simply don't know whether additional requirements and orders will be necessary. 
the governor's order has most assuredly, most assuredly helped in stopping the spread of COVID-19. Now, the first part of the resolution, uh, which incorporates the mitigation plan, applies to residents, and it's something that has been discussed many times over the last weeks. Stay home. It directs residents of the city and the county to stay home unless they are performing essential activities. The resolution defines essential activities as follows. Performing tasks that are essential to health and safety or the health and safety of your family, such as going to the doctor, obtaining medical supplies, getting prescriptions refilled, things of that nature. Number two, obtaining supplies or services needed to work from home, such as purchasing food, consumer goods, and products necessary to maintain the safety and essential operations of your residence. Three, enjoying the outdoors, provided you comply with the social distancing recommendations of maintaining six feet apart uh, from individuals caring for family members or pets in another household. And finally, which covers most things, performing work as an essential business as defined by Governor Stitt's order and his amended executive memorandum. Now, as I said in my opening, uh, the uh, citizens look to you for leadership and guidance. And this resolution gives you that guidance, gives them that guidance, excuse me. Stay home if at all possible. There's no plan to stop residents and demand to know why they've left home. This is not a 24-7 curfew that the Joint Task Force has recommended. What this is is simply a directive from you to the community to ask them to do their part to recognize the impact of COVID-19 and do their part to stop it. The second part of the plan regulates, uh, pr uh, in incorporates provisions related to business. Now, Governor Stitt has already ordered the closure of non-essential businesses. And for essential businesses that continue to operate, this plan that's incorporated in the resolution requires those businesses to establish controls which are necessary to mitigate the spread of COVID-19, such as through implementing and enforcing social distancing, permitting work from home, and complying with other advice as issued by our public health agencies. This plan also directs those businesses to certain state guidance to help those businesses come up with their plan. One of the questions that we frequently get from our businesses is, you've told me what to do, can you give me any help in doing it? And that's what we've done within this resolution is incorporate certain websites that we have reviewed as the task force that will be available for business owners and managers to review in the helps of setting them up, setting their own businesses up with a plan. Because a lot of the health guidance that's come out is in a lot of different places. And the uh, state of Oklahoma has done a pretty good job, I will say, in putting those resources in one available place. So reference to that is made in the resolution. Now, Governor Stitt's order closing non-essential business expires on April 16th which means that after April 16th, non-essential businesses may reopen. So within uh, another section within the resolution, we are asking those non-essential businesses, once they reopen, to establish those same procedures and controls for ensuring the safety <coughs> of the customers and their workforce. Now, you're, uh, you're not being task, tasked excuse me, with determining what an essential or non-essential business is. Those were ordered by the governor. And as such, we cannot answer specific questions as to what is or is not an essential business. If there's any question after reading the executive order and the governor's memorandum, the governor's office has established a website for businesses to register as essential. Uh, the website is criticalworker.ok.gov. That website was put out on our city Facebook page and will appear on our website for your convenience. I had distributed the most recent memorandum, executive memorandum issued by the governor as I referenced about two hours ago. For those individuals who are watching at home, if they go to the cityofmuskogee.com webpage, right on the first page under latest news, they will be able to download and view all of those documents. So for those uh, at home watching, that's uh, how they can follow along in reviewing that. And in the latest uh, rendition of the governor's order, he has significantly expanded the list of essential businesses. And so uh, as I said, and it bears repeating, mm -hmm. if a business is concerned 
as to whether they are essential or non-essential, and they're not able to determine from that list, then go to uh, criticalworker.ok.gov and put in their information and ask that they be certified as an essential business. So finally, this resolution, which incorporates the mitigation recommended by the Joint Task Force, does not affect any of the prior resolutions passed by the City Council or the Board of County Commissioners. Those will remain in effect until further act. So resolution 2803, mandating closure of restaurants, bars, and other entities as of last night at 730, that still remains in effect, regardless of once the governor's um, executive order expires uh, in a couple of weeks. Similarly, the resolutions uh, adopted by the Board of County Commissioners, two of them on, a, on March 18th and one on March 23rd, those will also remain in effect until modified by that particular body. So that's the end of my comments. I am happy to answer any questions related to this, but I am authorized to tell you that as a member of the task force, we do recommend passage of this resolution. I will also say that uh, Mr. Loge, who led our task force, is also here if you have questions for him as well. We have a motion and a second to uh, pass this. Mr. Loge, do you want to say anything before we vote? <laughs> uh, I would I think it's critical for the members of our community, whether they be at home or whether they be at a business, essential or non-essential, to do their part. Um, this is our recommendation to them. They have been directed on many things since this outbreak started. For example, they could have been directed on how to wash their hands, how to social distance, how to um, establish uh, policies in their workplace, whatever that may be. This is our way of telling members of our community, wherever you are, we're asking you to follow this. It's, it's crucial. It is important to all of the members at our hospital, our law enforcement, our government agencies. <clears throat> we have many essential, crucial people here that are going to be in dire need for us to do this and members in our community to do this right now, to start now. We can't wait two weeks whenever our hospital is overflowing and we're, then we're begging for help. Uh, if we do this now, hopefully we don't get to that point that we see other communities in America. So I would encourage passage. I'll be glad to answer any questions. I do not wish, I want the public to know, I do not wish to take any freedoms. I ask that you conform and work with us because we're in this together. Okay, and I feel certain that the better we f follow these guidelines, the shorter will, time we will have to follow along. With that, did you have something to say? I was just going to say, uh, Madam Chair and the other county commissioners here, that certainly we are grateful to have had the opportunity to work together across city and county lines to establish these guidelines and that it's important that us as the residents of Muskogee as well as the county work together as the mayor has suggested to be certain that we do what we can to implement these policies. Several of us have unfortunately um, experienced losses in families and among friends and classmates to those uh, to the COVID virus. Uh, personally those individuals who I have lost are not in their at risk age group. Uh, they are younger in their 40s and 50s as the virus continues to spread. So we want to remind all of our residents as the city uh, attorney as well as Mr. Loach has said, nothing we're doing today is an impediment on freedom. We're trying to guarantee that we have freedom beyond today and beyond the existence of the virus as we work together to establish ourselves in a way that we're safe physically and then look forward to trying to rebuild ourselves economically so that we can be as we were or better as the time goes forward. So thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Do we have any other questions for our district attorney or comments? Um, we're working in a little different way, and the motion couldn't be, uh, we couldn't hear it. So it needs to be made again into the microphone. I 
move for, is that on? Mm -hmm. I move for approval. And we did, we? Second. Okay. Any further uh, discussion, questions, comments? City Council roll call. Evelyn Hibbs. Yes. Stephanie Morgan. Yes. Marlon Coleman. Yes. Ivory Van. Yes. Derek Reed. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Mayor Janie Boydston. Yes, and the motion carries. Do you want to do your motion now? Yes. I would uh, move for approval of the Joint Task Force Resolution concerning the COVID-19 emergency. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. So, well, we're all on the same page, I guess. Um, is there anything else we need to do? That concludes our agenda. And I must say that it's nice for us all to be working together, and I know we're going to come out of this all right. Mm. We are adjourned. Okay. Oh, wait. Do, do motion I, to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in oh. favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. We are adjourned. <laughs> okay. <laughs>